every LEGO Star Wars set coming out in 2023. First up, the only set that is coming out in July, which is set 75358, which is the 4 Plus Tenny Jedi Temple, which retails for $40. Not really my thing, but that is the only set coming out in July, which is the 4 Plus set, if you were interested in getting that. Now, moving into August 1st release, we have set 75359, which is the 332nd Trooper Battle Pack, which has been very controversial in the LEGO community, but looking at its retail price, it was originally rumored to cost $27, but now they brought it back down to $20, which is very good that there wasn't another price increase in Battle Packs. Taking a look at the actual set, the build is a Swamp Speeder on Mandalore. It's like a 501st slash 332nd style Swamp Speeder that was never shown on Mandalore, but it's a Battle Pack. What do you expect? It's kind of nice to get a Swamp Speeder, which is an actual build. Yeah. And it doesn't but now moving on to the really controversial part, which is the minifigures. There are three th 332nd Clone Troopers in the set. And they all do have helmet holes, which is pretty unfortunate because it really makes them look bad. So they are definitely a downgrade from the ones that came out in the 2020 AAT. But two of them do have jetpacks. And then the really controversial figure is the Captain Vaughn, which does not have a print on the visor and does not have a gray lower half of the torso. The only thing is that he just has a plain orange visor and a little plaque on his shoulder, which is just kind of disappointing. Next up, we have set 75360, which is Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, retailing for $35, which is five more than last year's Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and this one does not include another exclusive minifigure like Obi-Wan's did, so in my opinion, just not really worth the extra $5 there, although R2-D2 does come with a back print, and there's only two figures being Yoda and R2-D2, but while like, the build looks fine, it's just we've gotten it not too long ago, honestly. Next up, we have set 75361 for $50, which is the Mandalorian spider tank thing. Um, there are three minifigures included, which is the very nice looking updated Bo-Katan, which LEGO did a really, really good job on. And I'm really excited to get my hands on that. And then, of course, um, the Mandalorian Din Djarin with the new Darksaber piece, which is pretty disappointing, but at least it's better than nothing, you know? And then, of course, you got Grogu, and the set looks really solid and durable, and it honestly reminds me a lot of the Umbara and Mobile Heavy Cannon thing. So, I'm actually really excited to get my hands on that set from the Mandalorian Season 3. Next up, we have set 75363 for $16. $16? $16 for a micro fighter. And the only extra thing you're getting is Grogu. Um, the only thing is it's overpriced. That's just what I have to say. The set's overpriced, but besides that, it looks like a pretty fine set for the Naboo and one Starfighter microfighter thing. Next up, we have set 75365, which is the $160 Yavin 4 base. I'm really excited for this. I looked at that concept art in the visual dictionary. I actually have that visual dictionary with the concept art on the other side of the room. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on that, and I'm really excited. And of course, it comes with 12 minifigures. That is an amazing amount of minifigures. I wish there was more of those Rebel Troopers, but that's what everybody's been saying. But besides that, it looks really good. Um, it's more of a play set than like a display model. It doesn't look the best from outside, but I think it looks all right. And I also really do like that like midi scale Y-Wing thing. And I really like that they have the removable medals for Luke and Han. Next up, set seven, five, three, six, eight, six, seven, five, three, six, nine, and set seven, Five three seven zero. Those are all of the mechs. Nobody cares about the mechs. You've probably heard enough about how much the mechs suck, but the mechs suck. And the Boba Fett looks good, but they're sixteen dollars. And I hope nobody buys them so Lego doesn't make any more mechs. Cause Lego, please don't make more mechs. Next up, these sets are rumored to come out on August twenty fourth. I'm not exactly sure why. It's just like a week before September first, and of but first off, for the August 24th releases, we have set 75371, which is the $200 buildable Chewbacca. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, we don't have any pictures of this set yet, but it's probably going to be revealed soon. And I don't think it's going to sell well because not that many care people care about Moving it. Moving on to the second set of the August 24th thing, we have set 75366, which is the Advent Calendar set, which retails for $45. I'm actually really excited for this Advent Calendar because there's like a Reindeer Gonk, Droid, Omega, 212 Troopers still with the bad helmet print and helmet holes, but 
still a clone trooper nonetheless. And then we have a little clone command station, a blue and one starfighter, like an ATST thing, and then like an Ewok with like a little glider. So I think this is actually going to be a pretty good advent calendar. Also included in the set is the Princess Leia from the 18 plus Endor speeder bike chase from earlier this year. Also, as you can see there, there's like a nice little Palpatine with like a Christmas sweater. And for the final thing, I'm not very excited for a battle droid, but we haven't gotten a staff in a long time, so I'm really excited to get my hands on a staff. Moving on, in September, this is where a lot of the LEGO Star Wars community's hype has been going. There currently aren't any pictures of these sets. Hopefully, they will get revealed soon. First up in our September lineup, we have set 75354, which is the $140 Republic gunship. I'm very excited about this. I've wanted to get a gunship for a long time, but they're very expensive as some of you might know. Although this is not going to be a normal Republic gunship, this is actually going to be a Coruscant Guard Republic gunship. Personally, I would have preferred a like normal gunship, but I understand why LEGO did this and I still think the Coruscant gunship is going to look very cool and I'm very excited to get it and hopefully multiple. Taking a look Quick look at the figure selection for this set. Disappointingly, only five figures, but a promising selection at that, which is going to be Palpatine, Padme, two shock troopers, and Commander Fox, which I think Commander Fox like might mouse up considering their track record with clones. And the shock troopers, I think, are probably gonna look pretty good, except of course they're probably gonna have the helmet holes. Next up we have set seven five three five seven, which is going to be a ghost from the Ahsoka show, which is pretty exciting. There are a lot of pieces, so um, people are suspecting that there could be a phantom included. There might be, there might not be, but also the figure selection seems pretty promising. Then the figure selection is supposed to be Hera, Chopper, Corey, Jason, and then an unknown character probably somewhere from the Ahsoka show. Next up we have set 75362 for $70. It is supposed to be a T6 Jedi shuttle from the Ahsoka show. Again, we still don't have any pictures of any of these sets yet, so hopefully they will be revealed soon. Next up, we have the 75364, which is just $100, and it's an unknown set from the Ahsoka show, but I'm excited to see what that is going to be. Next up, in October, we have set 75367, which is the $650. It is going to be a UCS Venator with Admiral Yuarin and Phase 2. Captain Rex, which a lot of people are really excited about, although people are upset that it's in such an expensive set. So there is some controversy around that, but I'm really excited to see what LEGO does with this Venator. Excited to see what the whole set looks like. I think it's going to be a beautiful model, a lot like the UCS Star Destroyer. And then, of course, I'm really excited to see what that Phase 2 Captain Rex looks like. It is rumored to have, like, a cloth, cloth pauldron, but we're not sure yet if it just has the printed on camo, which would be really disappointing if it was just printed on like that. Hopefully they will use a cloth piece. I don't know why Lego stopped using that, but it just looks so much better if they use an actual cloth piece. I'm really curious to see how well the Captain Rex looks, because it could definitely be really good, but it could also be really, really bad to the fact that everybody hates it and just wants the old Captain Rex. I'm also really excited to see what the young Admiral Yularen looks like. 